Okay, so we're going to introduce you to the trigger point in subclavius. This is definitely a muscle that goes under the radar, particularly given where it is. It's deep to our pec major and obviously the clavicle attachment here. So subclavius obviously meaning sub underneath and then obviously clavius obviously meaning that it's underneath the, the clavicle itself. So it's not difficult to find, it's not hard to really work on. It just means we've got to engage through that clavicle head of the pec major. Um, the trigger point for subclavius sits in and around near that sternal notch. So if you can find the sternum, you can find that um, costal marge, uh, that clavicle attachment there. If you roll off that, come in about a oh, finger width or two, you should be right on the trigger point there. Now the trigger point itself is a cracker because it absolutely 100% is a big referrer. So it'll refer out to the shoulder, down the arm, actually along the actual radial aspect of the arm and into the hand, if it's really in a nasty state. So it can refer. So it's really important if we're looking at sort of like pseudo thoracic outlet syndromes, we definitely want to be looking at subclavius as a potential, as well as our lat dorsi as well. But because of where it is and where it's situated, it goes under the radar, there's no doubt about it. In terms of actually getting access and working this trigger point, I know a lot of people like to come in and use their thumb. Obviously, I'm not a massive fan of overloading my thumbs, but in this case, you most certainly can, is make sure that you've braced your thumbs together. So what we're gonna do here, find that costal margin, okay, which is there, find the clavicle margin, which is there, so we're in that spot there come in about a finger width and if we just press down into that area there through the clavicle fibers of the pec major and you should find the trigger point right there so you can sink in there and then obviously just gently move in and out and move along just picking up all the fibers along there okay so it's just sinking in down and along the fibers there like so. So it's actually really quite simple. You can also have another approach here, which is meaning that you're gonna use your middle finger <clears throat> and that's gonna be our guiding force. So down through there, but either side, bring your fingers together, bring this hand over the top and then you can just sink down and then slowly strip along the muscle itself like so. So it's really important that you engage through the fibres of that pec major first and then along the subclavius itself. Now it'll duck down a little bit so you have to follow it down a little bit through those fibres. So coming out and along and just really short specific strokes. Keep an eye on your client's breath which is really important because if you're going in too deep you'll probably find they'll shorten off their breath a little bit. Okay, so as I said, middle finger is your guider. So you're going to sink down, find that bony attachment, sink in, down, and then work along like so. And now, obviously, if we're working with women, we're going to need to be aware of the breast tissue. So we want to be away from that. So we're going to be above that. Obviously, in that clavicle attachment of the pec major through there, we should be well away from that area itself. But consideration make sure that your clients know where you're working and how you're working as well. Just don't take it for granted. So that's subclavius. So as I said, the referral can be all the way down the arm, which is unbelievable given the size of this muscle. So it's a big referrer. Keep it in your toolbox for any of those sort of pseudo thoracic outlet syndromes. Um, remember that you're gonna gauge, engage by pushing through the clavicle fibers of the pec major. So that's the other important thing. And then when you are working it, make sure that you're working it nice and slow. You don't wanna be in there working deep and fast, okay? Cause you're really not gonna get access to it and you'll probably just agitate and it'll be very uncomfortable. They'll contract up that pec major. So sink in, find it, work slowly and really purposeful. Alrighty, that's subclavius.